Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome man, it's so great to be back. Thanks for joining me in this uh, new map review. Well, I won't say new, but it's a, a, a new map that I'm going to review. And uh, yes, today we are looking at this map. It's called Bjornholm. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Bjornholm Pack. <laughs> you can download it there at modland.net. And uh, yeah, with, uh, uh, without further ado, I just want to have a quick look. This is what, what the, um, the map looks like or, or the, the download looks like. It's called Bjornholm Production Map. So yes, it says, welcome back to Bjornholm Classic Map. You will find a lot of modification on the map, such as Malker, Mulkeray and Donut. So I suppose it's a Mulkeray and Donut shop. I'm not too sure. <laughs> okay, anyways, new foliage textures. The map is Smart Creation. I just added some great mods. Um, so any, uh, what the guy has done, uh, obviously, is he's taken the map and added some mods. He says, I don't take any credits, just added them, added, edited the map and decided to share. Well, thanks for sharing, bro. So we're going to definitely have a good look at the map. Uh, it looks to be like a fairly enjoyable map. Uh, of course, a lot of people have downloaded it, and so I'm sure it's going to be quite fun reviewing it. So yeah, without further ado, let's have a look at what the map looks like. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Um, yes, first glances, it looks like quite a busy map, you know. A lot of mountains and valleys and uh, a lot of things there. It looks like it's a river or an ocean there or something. Or Yeah, it's, it looks like quite an interesting map. So, yeah, it's going to be fun, guys. Uh, 40 fields by the look of it. So yeah, 40 fields, it's nice. And what I like is they mainly all square, rectangular, and there's a few odd ones here and there, like that one there, field 17. But mostly all of them will work nicely with your helpers and with uh, course play and those kind of um, game enhancements, you know, which I quite enjoy. I mean, course play to me, it's like you can't go without it, you know. I love using cosplay. It's awesome, man. <laughs> the genius that developed that Mosquito Award. <laughs> really, really good. Okay, anyways, fruit types. All the, the, all the basic fruits are on. And then oat and millet with it. You know, and sugarcane, obviously, the, the new guy on the block. Um, start or vehicles. Let's have a quick look. Agro Star, one of my favorite tractors. Um, it's a small tractor, but very, very nice and handy. The old Hurleyman 488, my word. Uh, when last did you see a map that you start with the early man, eh? <laughs> and, then that, and, uh, and another Agro Star, which is awesome. Hmm, this is a new one, apart from the actual Flow 1660 that normally pops up. So the Comia C6. Uh, harvester, and then a trailer, header, cedar, plow, cultivator, and some weights. And wow, that's it. My word. Okay, that is very basic equipment, guys. So yeah, you start off small, three tractors and a harvester basically, and some equipment. So it looks like you're gonna be be working, uh, you're gonna be working hard <laughs> to get somewhere. <laughs> okay, but anyways, it's not all in vain. You can get started um, immediately without a problem. All right, so where's the farm on this map? Let's have a quick look at that. Oh my word, it's all dispersed over the map, which. Personally, I'm not fond of that, you know. Uh, cows here at the bottom in the southwest, just north of that, the pigs. And then at the farm itself, by the looks of it, the, the chickens. Obviously, on all the farms are the chickens normally. And then sheep right on top there. Um, yeah, that already to me, it's a drag, you know. So if you want to do animals on this map, you're going to be carting stuff to and fro the farm like crazy, you know. So... Ah, it's only that, that's all to me. It's a drawback, you know. But yeah, let's give it a let's give it a go. Let's not um, be premature on our thoughts and that. Maybe it still works for the good. I don't know. We'll see. All right. What else? Um, we've got cell points. Let's have a look at the cell points. It's the next thing we want to do. A uh, fair amount of cell points. One, two, three, four, five. That sells all the general stuff, and then the others. Do all the others, you know, all the other things. Got some extra stuff up here. 
uh, there's the donuts that they were talking about. And I suppose that is eggs. That's eggs. Uh, there's cheese. So eggs and cheese on the map. And there's some, what is that? Uh, can't read there. Flour. That might be sugar. Uh, that. Not too sure what that is. But it looks like dung, but it's not dung. <laughs> okay. There's some milk. Uh, it looks like milk. <clears throat> And obviously those are your pellets. Okay, so yeah, there is some extras on the map, which is nice. Um, which you can go. There's a, a biomass, there's a delivery spot, bakery, elevator, biogas plant, milk cell, milk plant, Sam, shipping office, spinnery, and the windmill. All right, so yes, there is quite a few places to get rid of your goodies, which is nice. Your vehicles, um, fairly old. As you can see here, they basically almost worthless, you know, if you look at the money. Uh, 36 days, it's fairly old. Maintenance is going to be a bit high, uh, I suppose. But anyways, doesn't matter. They are there. You can just repair them and, and carry on, you know. Or you can sell them. But I won't suggest selling them because you only start with a few and you're going to run out of bucks quickly. Finances, we start with your average loan for a normal game, it's 75, easy is 50, and I think it's 100 for a hard game. Animals, we start with no animals, so it's nice, you can pick and choose what you want to do. In my opinion, that's always best. Uh, yeah. In the case of if they start with animals, it's a nice thing if you don't want to do it, to just sell them off, you know, which is awesome. <laughs> but in this case, unfortunately, nothing. All right, first things first, guys. Now that we've got our bearings and where we are, we start um, at the farm itself. This is where we start the game. And then just want to have a look around at this type of house. This is quite a strange design of ours. I'm not too sure what uh, uh, this architecture is. Uh, maybe Swiss or... Not too sure what it is, guys. But anyways... Uh, it, not in our country though doesn't I mean the little flowers in front of the in front of the uh, windows yeah oh, I'm not too sure Swiss or maybe can't, don't know if it could be German or whatever but boy oh boy what is this yeah this looks like one of those little um, smoke houses maybe they're smoking food oh here's a gold nugget guys if you want to know where a gold nugget is just follow the smoke on the chimney and you'll find it. Let's just pick that up while we're busy. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so yes, nice. This is what the farm looks like. I'm going to go this side. Yes, our harvester. All ready to harvest. Oh yes, one thing we have to check. How many fields we get going with. Always forget to do that. Um, almost forgot. I'd rather say it like that. So we start with... Nothing here at the bottom except for 38. What is that green dot? Oh, it's one of our equipment. 38, 29, 24. That's three fields. I don't see anything in the north. So you start off with one, two, three fields. All right. I can live with that. Uh, question is, how big is these fields? They are tiny by the looks of it. If I look at 38... Can I see something similar in size? This field 19 looks similar in size. Let's visit field 19 quickly and see what it's all about. 1.1 hectares, guys. Okay, that's another thing. There is contracting on this, so you can uh, get some finances in by doing some field work and that for the farmers. Um, yeah, that's very nice. I always enjoy the contracting work. You know, to make a quick buck here and there, uh, which is nice. You know, and most of these days, what guys do to, to get started, uh, the Jippo way, I'll call it the Jippo way, you know. <laughs> is just plant, plant uh, grass on all your fields and bale them, bale them with, um, with the baler and, and then make silage, you know, silage bales. Wrap them with the wrapper and then, then you get about 40... 50 grand uh, on, on, one, on one harvest, you know, per field, depending on the size, obviously. 
but in an average size, like that one was one hectare, you know, so you'll get a lot of money doing that in, in the start of the game um, to get you going. But yeah, I call that the Jippo way, you know, that's for the guys that, that don't want to grind, you know, <laughs> don't want to farm, they want a Jippo, you know. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just, I'm just yanking the guys' chains, you know, so if you do that, don't feel offended, please. <laughs> I'm just fooling about, guys. Uh, personally, I haven't done that uh, in my own games. I always just grind through, um, buy a new field that's got a harvest on it already, and then yeah, just keep on, keep on doing that and growing uh, perpetually. You know, as you as you buy one field with a harvest on your harvest, and that harvest covers about a third of the cost of the field, sometimes a bit more depending on what you plant. If you look at, if you look at money wise. Uh, I think your best bet will be beans, you know, beans or, or sunflowers. They are normally your your higher selling things. Although the although the crops are have got a less lesser yield, you know. So yeah, that's always a gamble. Uh, and then sell when when the price is good, you know. So yeah, don't sell when the price is not good. And the other thing, the other tip, guys, is don't sell one trailer, a small trailer load. Uh, go with the biggest trailer you can find or truck and sell at once because the moment you put that load in the price drops immediately woof you know because you're flooding the market with product <laughs> all right anyways enough talking about and uh, talking nonsense all right so we've had a look now uh i think let's just do the basics of the farm first let's visit the the cow farm have a look at what that looks like what the area looks like very nice it is a cloudy day today unfortunately so it's a bit foggy maybe i should just quickly forward the day you know because i don't like doing reviews with when you can't see nicely ah that's much better guys i already feel better myself you know <laughs> wonderful okay here's a water water point for the cows and obviously here's the stables or the, the cow shed or the cow Bobby, where your cows come and eat. This is where they eat, and you put your your, your uh, straw out for them to to walk on, and that creates manure. Obviously, the straw creates manure. Here's your silage pit, very important. Just want to see what this is here in the back. When my when my game lags a bit like that, it's just the auto save, guys. Some storage facility. Very nice, and this I presume would be. Oh, look at this! This is for your um, root crops, definitely root crop storage. Here's a water fountain if you want to know where water is. We're gonna have to check that water if it's free. Um, I like that um, little laser that comes down, so you can see on your trailer when you when you are underneath it. And yeah, you've got. Um, Yes, this is a, a cow, um, what do you call that, feed, um, total mix ration, creation thing, number Bobby. So you throw your straw, very nice unit this. I just hope it works, eh? <laughs> Many a map I've played and then the thing doesn't work and you have to put a mod in anyway. But yeah, hopefully this will work and then it creates the total mix ration for you. Just by adding those things so it mixes it by itself. Very nice, so here's field 40. And this is your uh, storage for your things. And here's another gold nugget. So if you want to know, behind the cow shed is another nugget. Let me pick it up now. Oh yes, there we go. Two of a hundred. Then down here, what have we got down here? Why does this look like a cell point? Oh no, it's, it's, it's just a... What is this? It's, this is the donut maker making place. It makes donuts, guys. So you chuck, chuck your flour and your sugar in there and it creates donuts. Oh my, my goodness. <laughs> oh, dump vegetable oil. Dump milk. Okay, my word. This is an old donut factory, guys. So you can create donuts. Now I'm with you. And here's the, the end product donuts in the box. Man, oh man, oh man, we're going to have to have a look at this field, you know, because within a few minutes from starting up this thing, this whole field is going to be full of police cars, you know, 
lining up for the donuts. <laughs> so yes, let's not get in. Let's not get involved, guys. Let's not get involved. All right. Excellent. Okay. So that is our cow. Our cow farm, where you can farm with the cows. Just now have a look here quickly. Just for interest sake. This is field 40's price. Uh, 2.6 hectares. It's a very nice size. 211,000, which is not too bad. You quickly make that. Within two or three hours, you got that. Um, just want to have a look. We are at the cow place. Here we go. That's field 40. Very, very. It's a nice field, guys. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the next one to go for will probably be field 35. If you want to go for cows, you know, it's all in the area here. Yeah. But like I say, man, yeah, it's just a pity that things are so dispersed. I hate it when a map is dispersed, you know. We have to carry stuff all over the place to get to it, you know. And cart equipment on. Man, it takes you forever to get everything there to do a job. I hate that. But anyways, let's not get beyond the point. All right. At the bottom here, you've got the biogas plant. We can quickly visit that. Have a look at that. Here's the biogas, the Silo King, Static Line Biogas Premium, that's it there, here's all your silage pits, so you can chuck in your, your grass and hay or whatever in there, and yeah, make some nice silage, oh here's another gold nugget, oh my gosh, I think after this review we're going to have the 100 nuggets so that we can start playing the game, <laughs> with a lot of bucks, I believe you get a million pounds or a million or something when you get all 100 nuggets but yeah I don't think we're gonna hang around that long guys all right yeah in the southeast the mill plant here's another thing this is probably another factory let's visit this one and see what this is what is this load the sugar this is probably the sugar mill or something I'm not too sure do they have a sign up here at the road? No, there's no sign. There's no sign on the thing here. It's got its own little wind generator. Very nice. Dump corn and sugar beet. Corn, sugar beet. And it makes sugar. Yeah, it's probably a sugar refinery. Definitely. I've actually got it there. It's sugar, yeah. Alright, so they create sugar here. From corn or from sugar beet that makes sugar. Nice. So you can dump your corn or sugar beet there and it makes sugar for you all right so next one mill plant let's visit that quickly oh yeah and these trains guys these trains that is nice all right let's have a quick look here how many trains on the map no there's no trains sorry guys i got excited <laughs> there's no trains on the map all right I just thought I just thought there might be. I didn't put the trains off, did I? Let me just quickly see. That's on the next one. Switch to trains. It's on. All right. So yeah, no, there's no trains on the map. Okay, it's a long time since we started the game with one of these. Eh? Yeah, I think farming similar to 2015. <laughs> That's the last time I started the game with one of these. Okay, but anyways. I could be mistaken, you know. Nothing's impossible, guys. Nothing is impossible. I've learned that long time ago. All right. So that's the mill plant. And then here is your your animal dealer. Go visit that. This is where you come and sell your animals. Livestock market. There is the cow or the bull. Big bull on the, on the roof. Nice, man. Very nice. It's also a field depot here. That you can um, buy some fuel here. There it is. Price that you too sad to put the price on because it's so expensive. <laughs> okay, it's a nice tunnel there for the train to go through. Nice, good going, guys. All right, and then here, obviously, oh, the grain elevator is here. Let's just visit these. So look, that's in the east. And what does this guy do? Vegetable oil, okay, so you put canola, sunflower, or soybeans, and you create vegetable oil. So there's a lot of products here, guys, that you can create on this map. Very nice, very, very nice. 
and then just opposite the road we've got uh, this is a grain elevator so you can obviously one of the cell points nice right 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 the barn we have to visit the barn quickly this is the barn where you can get rid of all your um, excess straw and hay and bales and whatever you just bring it here and you get rid of it very nice now this suddenly this map suddenly starting to feel familiar to me oh yes i remember this map now man 2015 this map was in 2015 suddenly i remembered when i saw the barn you run up here up the hill and there's some fields up there 24 and 29 that's correct now of oh, not 24 29 but there was some more fields up there yes man i remember this map very nice i quite enjoyed this map i must say your farm is here on a hill and then if you go here if you go down here i better just put my phone to side it because i don't want to get some messages and stuff while we're busy with our review our very important review um yeah here's some more storage for root crops and this thing yeah compost or something yep compost master so you can make compost what i wanted to say is you get this downhill here man and i uh, believe me your trucks <laughs> it's, i remember in 15 if it's 15 your trucks go with a massive speed down this hill to the cell points uh, or to the um, fields here at the bottom there's two nice big fields there at the bottom this one's yeah there they are 22 and 27 yeah man i remember this map what a nice it is this is a nice map i remember this map i've played this quite a bit in fs15 um, all right but anyways let's carry on with our review there's a fuel cell there's a fuel cell there's a fuel cell so there's quite a bit of fuel cells on this um i think we're just going to visit the one just to check what it is the spinnery obviously here yeah, close to the farm let's do that first visit the spinnery this is where you bring your wool get your wool sold here yeah? obviously sheep farming is very profitable with wool get a lot of that going oh here's another gold nugget nice man we've got four already guys we are almost millionaires <laughs> oh wait okay anyways let's visit the shop which is just here it's like almost in the center of the map very nice and I remember the bank was just around that corner there. Just switch my light off. There's your uh, customization for the vehicles. And then the bank was, I think, this side here. Yeah. If I'm remembering correctly. There it is. There you can get some bucks if you're short. <laughs> okay, man. Sure. I haven't seen this map in a long, long time. I think it's two years now. Yeah, roughly two years since i've been playing fs17 so yes guys uh, all right so that is there uh, we wanted to have a look at the biomass and the fuel cell which is here next to each other so let's do this one first so what do you do here guys what do you do here oh okay this is a cell point for fuel which is quite nice i wonder if this is where you can fill your um fill your fuel tankers because that's the thing on the map that i had the problem with i couldn't find a place where you can fill your fuel tankers on other maps because i wanted to fuel my tractors on the field you know while they're busy working and um yeah that's just something to test but here's a garage so yeah it looks like maybe they've put that in which is wonderful all right the biomass is here yeah, on, on here you will obviously put your stuff what would that be biomass 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 i wonder what that would be what would you put into the biomass maybe all bioproducts like maybe maybe all your throwaway stuff you know i'm not too sure not too sure anyway it's there create something with the bios <laughs> anyways and then the bakery is there milk sale is there here's another factory what would this one be let's have a look oh this is eggs 
This is eggs and eggs and eggs. So you can put your eggs in here. Very nice. Sell them all. And this one here, what would this be? Oh, this is wood. Okay, so here we go, guys. There you can take all your wood. And obviously, uh, if there's wood to be placed, you need to get to do some forestry on the map. Would that be up here? Maybe, I'm not too sure. Where would you do forestry on this map? Is there a forest? Just have a, just a quick look up here, what's over this hill. Oh, well, there's some trees. It looks like you can do some forestry. If I'll have a look, quick look around, there is a fair amount of trees. Even there is quite a bit. So yes, by the looks of it, you can do quite an amount of forestry, which is nice, obviously. Yeah, good stuff, man. Shipping office, what is that? Let's have a quick look at the shipping office. What does the shipping office do? Looks like it's just another sell point where you can obviously export a lot of stuff. The shipping office, they buy almost anything. Just want to put my marker there. Yeah, they buy quite a lot of products, you know. Mostly the grains and the basic products. But not the fancy things. Except for oat and rye. Even if that's oat and rye, I'm not too sure. But anyways, yeah, that's the shipping office for you. And then, yeah, what else is there? What's that delivery spot? That's a delivery spot. I'm not too sure. Have a look at that. That's northwest, or northeast. I think this is just not another cell point delivery spot, yeah. Now they also basically just trade in the average stuff, you know, nothing fancy. All right, guys, one thing I had to check or want to check is uh, obviously, let's just go to the garage quickly and just get rid of, say, the Hurleyman. We'd sell that. Okay, we sell that. We're not going to use it now. Just get some money in, you know, so we can buy some stuff. Uh, and then we go to tankers, uh, water tankers. That's one thing I normally need to do. Let's just give you guys an idea of um, where to get free water, you know. Free water is a very important thing on any map. Because otherwise you have to buy the stuff and you go crazy if you have to run around trying to figure out where free water is, you know. Okay, so both of those are reset, so we can go into the agro store. Here it is. Without further ado, guys, let's get cracking. Let's quickly have a look at your free water spots. Okay, so we are here at, uh, where are we at? Chicken farm. Now, normally, normally <coughs> on this map, <coughs> Sorry guys For some reason Ah, there's another gold nugget guys Let's quickly collect that I mean, now that we're on the roll, you know <laughs> Can't leave that lying around <coughs> Excuse me guys Normally there was uh, There it is in front uh, A water spot Oh my word, there's another gold nugget guys I hope I don't see another one now. I think I'm, for the rest I'm just going to ignore, you know. I'll just show it to you, you know, so you know where we are. Well, at least a few that we discovered. I think we've got six or seven now. Now, normally there's water here. Whether it's free, it's another good question. Nope, no free water there, guys. So don't think that's free water on your own farm. I mean, that's pathetic. Really. That is really pathetic. Um, right, let's just quickly have a look at the map. So, uh, so this is where we start. So this is where we start. Now, I would say, you know, you have to get free water at least on your starting game. You know? All right, 
let us let us go to the other farms and see. So those are the sheep is up north. Let's do this two first. Let's have a look there. Right, so let us go down. Now you're gonna see what I mean with the speed. But I mean unfortunately this tractor is not like it is an agro star, you know, and it's not a it's not a superstar. <laughs> Oh my word. I hope uh, I hope that the volume is alright, you know, because sometimes the tractor's noises can be a bit more than than the volume, you know, of, of my voice. So I hope it's just the right if you can hear it. I just took a little shortcut there. Just have a look on the map, where are we going? Are we on the right track? We're gonna get to the big farms now, just around this corner. Down there it is, I can see it. Keep your eyes peeled guys for um I wonder what that is. For water places where you can find water. Windmills or wind pumps, what do you call those things? Wind pumps. This is the big farm here. I don't see any water points, that's your um the liquid manure or slurry and the big farm has got obviously got uh, a big feed mixer as well which is wonderful man oh there is a water a water uh, what do you call it a fountain right here I can guarantee you it's not gonna be free yep it's not free don't think it's free water guys so but don't worry about it guys, Farmer Bob will show you the roots if we've gone, if we have been done in, you know, like on many maps you get done in with the water, you should get free water from the farm. What is this here? Is that fertilizer or H2O? That is a water tank, but I can guarantee you that it's also going to be Why is it not filling up? It says water. Nope. Unfortunately nothing. This is just a, a dry spot. I don't know why it's not filling up fast. But anyway, let's go to the cows. Cows which is right here. I should have a water filling point as well. I hope I'm not scrolling too fast, guys. I'm I'm actually so used to scrolling fast that I might be making you fast sick <laughs> if I scroll. <laughs> oh my gosh! What's this here? Oh no, that's the cow mixer. There, yeah, there's the fountain. I just saw it now. But none of these, uh, I can't see it going to be any different if the others went, you know, so let's not give it a try, you know. Yep, not for free. Okay, so uh, what other spots has got water on it? Let's have a quick browse. I don't see any dams on this map. The only other thing I see that could have, oh, there's some sand. So let's go down this road. Um, down this road. So how we get there? How we get there? Uh, I think we should go up there again and just over so we can get to this spot here to see. But that's just going to be a bridge, and here's normally like a forestry thing. There's a forestry thing. But I, I, I kind of bet you that this is going to be water. Yeah. So maybe look there. There's a little road there, and there's a little road there. So we go out. Oh, that one has got a road too. So let us go there and um, find out find out whether we've been really done in. You know, it's, I found on other maps that you can go draw water from the river, but it's not free. <laughs> Even the river water you have to pay for, which is still a huge ripple. You know, 
and it frustrates the life out of me because I mean I can understand if you um, draw water from someone else's farm you know and you have to pay him to do something for the water but if the river is on your farm and your land uh, you should get free water from it now yeah in our country what you need to do is uh, you pay a water right fee and that allows you to draw the size of your farm a certain amount of cubic meters per year now that is what they determine by the size of your land you know um, yeah so that's what how it works here by us but obviously in the game you can't expect to work like that so maybe maybe that's why you have to pay some fee when you draw water uh, I don't know but, <clears throat> but um, to me it just doesn't make sense your own water on your own farm that you have to pay for it you know, that just doesn't make sense to me ok let's just keep track on oh am I going to make it uh, I might just make it yes we are oh yes I'm going to see where we need to turn uh, ok there, oh, we can just go straight with this straight, straight, straight with this and then at the T, go left and then we go left again down there, alright now we're almost there guys I think once we've solved the water crisis then uh, yeah, we take it from there there's the ocean coming up on the right very nice now obviously you don't want to get ocean water for your animals because that will be salty it's going to be horrible to drink actually they won't drink it animals aren't stupid you know <laughs> they are clever little things now here's a river and there is a sand spot and here's a little road going down to it it's starting to look promising guys it's slowly starting to look very promising. Let's go and have a look. Like I said, these agro star tracks, they are probably one of my favorite small tracks in the game. I love them. They are really awesome. Here's a little pumping station. Oh, Bomber Bob is, instead of looking where he's driving, he's getting distracted by all the nice things in the area. Alright. Nice. Right, let's put our tanker in here and see. Just want to open it back. And there you go. The water crisis is solved, guys. We can get free water here at this spot. Alright, so at least you know where to get some free water. Uh, mark the spot here. I'm going to enlarge the map for you. Even better. It's right here by the by the um, by the river um, mouth when it goes into the sea. Just left of that bridge uh, is a little road that you go down to the water, which is nice. Great man, great. I presume you will also be able to get water here and at this other spot there, uh, but I won't do that there because it might be ocean water. This is natural water going going down the river, so yeah, I will always get it there. Well, guys, that is my most noble opinion of the map. I hope there's nothing that I've missed. Um, we've had a look at the cows, we've had a look at the pigs, the sheep, and the barn. Um, animal sell point, we had a look at that. It's where you sell your animals. The shop, we didn't visit the shop. Oh, we did visit the shop. Sorry, the bank was just around the corner. And then the 40 fields. Yeah, I must say, this is quite a nice map. You would really enjoy playing that for sure. No doubt about it. Great. Good man, guys. So without further ado, thank you for tuning in. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it like I did. And if there's any comments, please leave so. If you liked it, give it a like. If you like to subscribe, subscribe. Farmer Bob is saying cheers for now. You have a good day, man. Thanks, guys. Cheers, man.